So these are the needles, like five in a pack, and it's a Using ancient Chinese practices, this doctor is helping her patients alleviate pain. I usually start with points that are known to be a bit more calming. And her regulars are thrilled. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Here's a good they can't stop wagging their tails. That a good boy, yes. Donna Marklin is a veterinarian specializing in unique services for furry companions. Well, what I offer is uh, um, acupuncture, uh, therapeutic ultrasound, therapeutic laser, and then physical rehabilitation, just like if you had an injury and you went to a, a physical therapist. She wants to help animals put their best paw forward. I want to offer more for people with old dogs, other than just the pills, which are excellent, but something more to give these dogs, to give them some kind of pain relief and increase their quality of life so they can you know, spend more good time with their people. And seven-year-old Buster can attest to that. Good boy. The Border Collie was only 14 weeks old when they crossed paths. He was found in the ditch and brought into the clinic where she was working. Both his hind legs were broken. He had both thighs, both femurs, and his tibia, his lower leg on one leg, fractured. Her heart went out to him. She took him in, and over the next few years, she nursed him back to good health. The injured puppy went from timid to strong. And he healed well, and he really was running and doing great things, and he could run through deep snow. But as time passed, his strength started to slip away. When he got a little bit older, I noticed he was having some trouble walking, and his back was hunched, and all these things were changing in him. Go, buddy, his painful go. past was beginning to creep up again. His mobility was suffering. Buster had profound weakness in his gluteal muscles and had a hard time even bearing weight. That's when Donna went looking for answers. She enrolled in courses in acupuncture and rehabilitation therapy. All the things that we were learning about as secondary changes to injury were present with Buster. So he was tight everywhere, uncomfortable when you really got down into the muscles and just hiding it really, really well. Good boy, step, step, step. It Good was boy. then Donna started at-home therapy with Buster, the beginning of a new idea where the vet goes to the animal. They, they need to stretch. So this is really, if you think about it, stretching in his abdominal muscles, stretching his front thigh muscles. We can have him twist, stretch his neck. Using exercise balls and balance boards for rehabilitation, Buster is now gaining strength week by week. He's learning his back. And through the extension of diagnostic imaging, acupuncture, and laser technology, Donna's helping Buster live life to the fullest. So now his stride is much better, uh, and he's much more evenly balanced in his back legs, uh, and just happier all around. And just like people who can be homebodies, therapy is much better in the comfort of their own home. So she is taking her practices on the road, rolling out mobile vet therapeutic services from Mill Bay to Nanaimo and Salt Spring Island, taking part in a new trend where more and more vets are going mobile. They tend to be very much more receptive to our treatment uh, in their home, especially cats. I have seen cats do well with acupuncture in a clinic, um, but not all cats are comfortable enough for that in a clinic and a lot more are comfortable at home. Donna also has a proactive approach helping pet owners understand the importance of taking preventative measures. Just like there are some fabulous gyms now for people 50 plus just to get those muscles strengthened, your core muscles strengthened, um, we can do the same things with dogs and it really does help prevent the, some degenerative changes and some injuries. So other pets along with their owners can live long and happy lives together like Donna and Buster. In the Couch and Valley, I'm Lisa Pismini for Go on Shaw TV.